Hello everyone and welcome back to this channel. This video is going to be a Village Witch subscription box reveal or review. Um, so this is the box that it comes in. This is the March 2020 Ostara or Growth themed box. As you can probably tell by the fact that I'm just casually waving this thing around, it is empty. Um, I have taken all the contents out because I know what I'm like. If I try and open everything on camera, it's going to fail miserably, so I just thought I'd get it all over and done with, get it out of the packaging. But I have only just unpacked it, so everything is still incredibly new. But it comes, yes, in this white box with craft paper inside. So everything's really well protected and packaged. I'm ready to get into it, aren't you? Yes, as I said before, it is a growth themed um, box with a blooming and personal growth and spiritual growth, business growth, everything to help you move forward in your life rather than just it all being about rebirth as Ostara can all you know, sometimes be thought of that it's just about rebirth whereas sometimes things come back so this is what this sub box is about so let's get started with the first thing which is the freebie you always get a treat bag so this one has a cream egg which is a great, you know, it's, it's the egg, the symbol of fertility, for Ostara, for Easter, um, for all of that, so very, very fitting. We've then got Haribo plus two pucker tea bags. Uh, so this is a complete freebie. They do not uh, think about how much this would cost. They just add it because we all love food. Who doesn't love food? So that's why we've got a treat bag. We also have the Make Your Own Kit. This is a Ancestor Make Your Own Kit. In fact, it's actually called the Ancestral Sunshine Kit. So you get to grow with your ancestors. Now, I'm not sure if you can see, because I have left it bubble wrapped, but it's a skull pot. It's, uh, it's a resin skull with a glass container inside which can be filled up with compost and they've given you some sunflower seeds you can plant the sunflower seeds water it and then you get to nurture it and as it grows you can then grow with your ancestors and grow your bond between them which i think is an amazing idea um i i love sunflowers anyway it's one of my favorite sunflowers one of my favorite flowers so really happy about this make your own kit cannot wait to use this one moving on we also have a spell envelope now if you don't know what a spell envelope is it's just an envelope filled with herbs that you can burn it has a petition inside and has a petition on the front as well so you can read it out charge it with your energy and then burn it it's quite an impacting um, type of spell. Of course no magic is more powerful than another. The magic comes within you. These are just our tools that we use to focus it. But there are times when you just feel like you're doing something. Does that make sense? And spell ropes definitely are that thing. So this is a cut and clear spell though, which is perfect when you want to get rid of the obstacles, remove them out of your life so you can then carry on growing and moving forward. Perfect for Ostara. Moving swiftly on, we now have the Aura Spray. Now the Village Witch in their subscription boxes try to do one, two, possibly sometimes three limited edition pieces. Now these limited edition pieces could be either something that will never come back is a one time only, will never be on the shop, it's literally buy it now, you'll never get it again. Or it's a 
teaser product so it's a product that only the summers will get for now but perhaps in three to six months time it will now it will then appear on the shop this one is the first of the limited editions the equinox bloom aura spray so this isn't on the shop at all and to my knowledge i don't think it ever will be so we oh it smells really floral that is really really nice oh i do like that <laughs> very 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 florally um exactly what you would expect from an equinox bloom aura spray so it just smells so nice See, I have to put a disclaimer out, none of their products are meant to be used on the skin or internally, um, so as nice as it does smell, don't drink it. Just just a warning. <laughs> um, but no, it does smell actually really, really nice. Um, do really like that. We also have the Ostara Floor Wash. Now, this can be used, it doesn't really matter when you celebrate Ostara so much. You have the Spring Equinox and Ostara which can fall on different days. I know that some people like to just celebrate it on the one whereas other people celebrate it over three. But this would be a great way to just cleanse the house, get ready for the Sabbath. Just welcome it in. Welcome spring in. So you can use it on your floors, doors, windows, entrances, exits, wherever you like. Just not on yourself. But yes, I'm very happy to use that one. Now, getting to move on on the slightly smaller stuff. We then have the Showers of Gold Incense. Now, I'm going to try my best to open this and show you without getting it everywhere. But I, I can't promise anything. So here we go, if I can just tilt it very slightly. That was close very slightly so you can see it's all just herbs and pure resin nothing weird about it it's not your average incense stick this is loose incense so it can only be burnt on a charcoal disc but it smells lovely oh it smells so good um, it's yes yeah, called chavas of gold so it's helped to used to help you grow your prosperity and your success. I also really like the name in that in the springtime here in Britain we have this name of April showers because for some reason it just likes to rain a lot in April and the fact that it's called the showers of gold incense it's just kind of fitting. So I really do like that as well. Now we also have the three vials We've got the Equinox Bloom Oil, the Queen Bee Powder, and the Better Business Ink. So from what I can see in the Amber Grass vial, the Better, Bis Better Business Ink is green. Um, be perfect for writing out petitions. Start that one again. For writing out petitions regarding your work or if you're self-employed, a business that you run. So that would be really, really good. Then we have the Queen Bee Powder. Now this is the more personal side of the growth and blooming aspect of the box leaf. Powders are amazing can be used in such a variety of ways. And for, so to have this as the personal one I think is an amazing idea. Like Queen Bee is meant to be used to help you grow your confidence, grow in yourself. So I think this is really really good. The last one is the Equinox Bloom Oil to match the limited edition Equinox Bloom Aura Spray. Now, the thing about the Equinox Bloom range for <laughs> this sub box I really like is that it's quite broadly named. We have the Ostara Floor Wash which is to celebrate Ostara. The Equinox Bloom however can be used at both the Spring Equinox and the autumn equinox is not just a one hit wonder it can be used at different times of the year so i think that's actually really really good that they named it slightly more broad 
so I really really like that okay we have three things left so the first thing I'd like to show you is their limited not limited edition this is their exclusive badge which only subbers get as you can see it's pink I'm not sure if it's back to front for you because I have a self facing camera but it does say you are magic on there it's just again another positive affirming statement that you can say to yourself to help you grow and to bloom into the person of which that you want to be right next thing you get a tea light or a candle um this month is a tea light and it's a peach one in fact that colour goes pretty well with my master candle that's currently on my altar um, so I might have to burn this one in conjunction with that but yes they always supply you with a candle of some sort so you can burn this and use it whilst doing your other workings but don't panic they do always say that if you do run it out of your spell candle that they give you you can use any other candle that you have it doesn't have to be this one the white tea light will do because white is universal after all so you do get your tea light and the last thing that you get i'm going to describe in conjunction with my favorites if you read my february sub box blog post you will see that i have different favourite parts of the box. This is my favourite item. It's called the You Go I Grow Witch Wax. Brand new to the Village Witch, brand new to the sub box. This is one of the limited editions where it's in the sub box now but will be in the shop later on. So this is what it looks like it's a little star which i think just adds to the beauty of it and it adds to the magic it's got the sort of almost marble like color it's quite dark and um, i think the marbling effect is actually being created by the herbs that are inside there you can see the herbs which is amazing it says it can be melted like a wax melt in a wax melt burner carried like a charm, added to a mojo bag, or can be swiped over something to add another layer of magic. It's almost like a powder in a more tangible form, and it can be used in such a variety of ways, and I think that that is just... <laughs> There's no other word but to say amazing. I really do like the witch wax i think it's an amazing creation and i can't wait to start using it but moving on to my next favorite thing the next favorite was my favorite working now for me i think my favorite working is going to be the make your own kit and the aura spray before i say much more you are meant to feed your plants water so do not take what i'm about to say quite literally um i do think that once i've planted this using the aura spray over the plant would be such an amazing idea because it's that intention it's that focus that you're giving to not only the plant not only to yourself but also to your ancestors so you're blooming the plant, you're blooming the side of yourself by giving yourself the boost, but you're also nurturing that connection that you have with your ancestors, which I think is amazing. But yes, of course, please do feed your plant water. Or a spray might, I'm not sure if an or a spray would kill it. <laughs> Don't just pour it in. Um, yes, I think spraying it over the plant would be good, as well as spraying it in the room and around myself again not on my skin because it's not meant for that but either way i think that's going to be my favorite working for this month my favorite overall thing about the box mm. i think i'm gonna go for the theme 
Last month it was a little heart. I thought it really added to the theme of the box and this month the theme itself is quite fitting I think at this time of the year. March, beginning of April time we start to reflect on the past three months that we've already lived and by this time you know let's admit it we've already pretty much broken all of our new year's resolutions and I think this is such a good pick me up um, especially with everything that's been going around, going on in the world at the moment. Um, I'm not going to talk about you know getting political or anything to do with worldwide health um, but yes it's been all a bit up there hasn't it? Um, I just think the theme couldn't be more perfect so I think the overall favourite thing for the box is just I am ready to grow and this box is going to be just that so I'm really really happy with that. Now the Village Witch if you do not know who they are they are one of the world's one of the UK's largest biggest suppliers of witchcraft metaphysical hoodoo voodoo whatever you'd like to call it but they are one of the UK largest suppliers and they are also the largest supplier of handmade goods with over 2,000 handmade goods sold. Now this isn't just things you can buy from gift shops, these are all handmade and to order. So all the sub box stuff gets made a couple of days before they get sent. So it's nice and fresh, nice and charged, um, they're not just sitting there, you know, for months waiting. And I, it's, you can tell, <laughs> you can tell. But that is who they are. I definitely recommend that you go and check them out if you haven't already. And you can get your very own subscription box as well. And I'll leave all the links down below anyway. But yes, that is my review for the Village Witch subscription box for March 2020, also known as the Ostara and Growth box. I really hope that you liked this video. Don't forget to like and comment and even subscribe down below if you can. Until next time, see you later everyone.